Well, got the wildcat in the shop. Do a little work on it. See if I can fix that little smiley face last weekend created. <laughs> some kryptonite tie rod upgrades for it get them put on today getting ready to tear it down completely gonna pull the bumper and wheels off pull the nerf bars off pull the roof off take it all down get some powder coat done on it so I'm gonna get started on this and I'll be back shortly well anybody who hasn't done this you got these little clips in here I'm using the exact appropriate tool because you know why you don't worry about safety? It's overrated. I'll pop that off. Pull it down. You gotta get up in there, snip. See if I can do both things at once here. Like that. And just pull the boot off. There's a ridge at this end of the boot sits in can be kind of a pain to get it out but it'll eventually slide off just like so then you gotta knock the heim joint off down here at the knuckle and this has got some flats on it it'll knock off of this part and that's all you got to do to take it off pull the whole thing out as one big piece that way you can use it to kind of measure for your other one have a rough idea what you're doing when you put the new one on. Right. You gotta pop the uniball off the hub out here, spindle. It's a 13 mil on top, 15 mil below. Just spin it off. I'm gonna leave that in there until I get the inside of the tie rod off. That'll help stabilize it. Easiest way I found is just a pipe wrench. You can get it on there. Get it to bite. Which isn't always the easiest. I don't have a wrench big enough to do it. so Kind of got to do it the hard way. There are a couple of flats on there. You want to measure so you have a rough idea where your new one needs to be set. It's going to make a little pain with that boot in there. But this should be pretty flush right there, same surface. You want to go center of the hole for about 24 and 3 quarter. Probably 24 and 7 eighths where we'll set it. Might be a little long, but that'll give us a good place to start. Well, let's get the new ones out. All right, let's open this box up. See what these new kryptonite tie rods look like. Nice finish on them. Self-sealed on the inside end, so you don't need the boot. Locking, got a nice heim on the end. Looks pretty beefy. I bend this, I'm probably doing something really, really awesome or really, really stupid, one of the two. So, see if I can get these set and uh, get ready to put them on. Yep. Turn this thing all the way out. Spin it the right direction. Pop that out. Measure the total amount of threads you have, which is oh inch and five eighths. And what you want to do. Start your bolt in the middle of it, so you got equal threads on both sides. So we're at three quarters of an inch on that side. Dang, left hand threads and right hand threads always get me confused. There, 
They're both just shy of three quarters of an inch on each side. Set that to the side. Spin this one out. Do basically the same thing, or exactly the same thing. This one's really long. Pull that out. Slide the nut down a little bit so you can see where the threads are. Try to get a nice accurate. We got two inches of thread. Sixteenths on each side. You call that good. And we'll start putting them back in. Just enough to lock it down. Bring this one in. Just enough till it touches, kind of locks down. That'll give you a good start point for your center. If you do both of them the exact same, give you a good start point to set your toe and center your steering wheel up. So I'll get the other one set and be right back with you. All right, let's see if we can start getting a new one in here. Start with threading this one into the machine. Could be easier said than done with the suspension fully grouped out. Yep, you're gonna have to uh, change the suspension a little bit, put it on jack stand, and press it up a little. Hopefully. Actually, almost a great big nut, so there's two flats on it. Make it a little easier to tighten down on here. Sure, I moved that while it was on there. What's that? 
so get it recentered up. Double check off of this one. Three quarters of an inch. Oh. Loosen them up just a little bit so they'll spin. Put the hip tie holding behind together. Spherical bearing, however you want to call it. down you got your spaces in here you don't want to lose those got to make sure you put it in with them on or it's going to be a bad day looks like this might be a tight squeeze going into the spindle here might have to get a little creative to get it in there Gonna go, it's just gonna be a tight fit. Let me grab a dead blow. Use a rubber mount, see if we tap it into that. There it went. Get lined up. Drop the bolt back through. Run the nut up on it. Get it nice and snugged up. Ain't got to worry about it coming loose. While you're in here, might as well check all your boots. Bust out the handy little stream light. Can't beat a stream light. Check the boots all out. Look them all over. They all look good. Nothing else looks loose or out of place. Everything looks good and tight. Rinse and repeat on the other side. There, over to side two. Had to put it on the jack stands. Get the suspension to compress up a little bit so you can get in here and spin these in. And just soften the other side. that off with. When at first you don't succeed, try doing it not by hand. A little harder on the other side, but success is success no matter how you look at it. Same thing, tighten this down. I'll start getting it back together and try to do a toe. I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, 
I have the supervisor making sure I get it done. Say hi, Fern. Got to give her a little love. Keep her happy. Don't yell at me. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. Before you start doing your alignment, you want to make sure your steering wheel is centered. So you're going to go all the way to one lock and count your rotations back to the other lock. There's one. Just shy of two. So, being if you look at the center mark here, where it's at in the position when it's all the way over to this side, we're pretty much on the same angle, probably 10:30 on this side, maybe 1:30 on that side. So you can bring it up, center your wheel, and there's a pretty solid chance that you're in the center of your steering to give you a good base to go off of for setting your tow. Down on the ground. Not the right way to scrub the suspension out, but it'll work for what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna go get the torque wrench and be right back. We'll get the tire stork or the lug nut stork. Yep, I say to torque them to 95. I've learned I need to torque my lug nuts. I've had a couple of issues with coming loose on these wheels. Make sure. There's 95. some rough measurements start getting uh, set up for the toe we just try to get it kind of close and do a redneck job here measure from the tire to the front of the frame at least try to get them centered and then we'll go and actually set the toe from there this one is right around 20 inches This one's almost 22. So, take this side in a little bit. Roughly three quarters of an inch or so to start. There we go, right at 21 inches. Well, see if I can get Kyle to help me here in a little bit. We'll pull an actual number for setting the toe. All right, Kyle will help me. Pull some measurements, see where the toe is. I am at 59, and they would say eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So, wow. I think I'm going to leave it right there where it is. Apparently, I'm a good guesser. And I'll just take the time. Got to lock all the lock nuts down. And job will be done. Finish locking this one down. Try not to scuff the pretty paint on here, powder coat that's on it. Same as the other side, just run them down, snug them up. Try not to stuff your powder coat. Lock it down. And this one up tight. Lock 
that one down. Then, there you are. Got some nice kryptonite, way oversized tie rods. Alright guys, there you go. Installed the tie rods, Wildcat's back up, ready to run. Thanks guys, have a great day. She loves her lovin's.